Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. On today's show, we are getting out in the yard. We're going to do some renovations, some redecorating, generally changing things up around the house and property. I like it, changing things up. You know, and we've got some topics that will have you rethinking your lifestyle. Now, are you bored with your den or that one area of the house where everybody casually hangs out? Does it lack character? Maybe it's time to give it a whole new vibe and flavor. Two words, mm -hmm. sunshine state. I like it. We both live there. We also get into privacy and security with a look at one way to make your property a safer place to live. And while we're making all those changes around the house, you're going to inevitably be throwing out a lot of trash. Mm -hmm. As every DIYer knows, there's always a mess to clean up afterwards. Well, we're going to get some tips from the pros on how to effectively dispose of all that debris while working on renovation projects. Also, with the warm weather and the kids at home, recreational activities are a must. How about swimming? Yes. Don't have a pool? No. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have an answer for that. So stick around. Because it's all coming up right here on Designing Spaces. All right, you just finished that do-it-yourself project. What are you left with? A beautiful remodeled project. No, see, I'm thinking more of all the leftover trash. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't go there. But taking out the trash, here's Bobby Dodge. As homeowners take on more and more do-it-yourself projects to remodel and renovate their homes, they sharpen their skills and eventually are ready to try their hand at a larger project. Maybe you want to create a workshop area out of a spare room or remodel the second bathroom with new fixtures and tile. No matter which direction you may go, there will always be the inevitable problem of cleanup and keeping the rest of the house clean. Designing Spaces teamed up with the right people to help a do-it-yourselfer get the job done cleanly. As you can see, the room is pretty much cleared. Now we're at the point where we need to keep the rest of the house safe from any dust and debris. We're going to be working with construction materials and creating a lot of dust which needs to be contained. I'd like to introduce you to a couple of people here. Nathan is the homeowner. Now Nathan is using this project as a do-it-yourself project. Nathan, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let me ask, what kind of experience do you have with a job similar to this? Well, I've done some similar things in the past, you know, helping friends or relatives with smaller projects. Um, so I guess I have a little experience, but definitely it's not something I do every day. Well, don't worry about that because we have Charlie with Berry Plastics with us today. Charlie, thank you so much for joining us. Charlie has a lot of great ideas for containing and cleaning up a mess with a job similar to this one. Charlie, thanks again for joining us and bringing along that great advice you have. Thanks. It's great to be here. I'm going to be taking a page out of a contractor's handbook in keeping mess under control, both in terms of preserving what you'd like to in the home as well as selecting the right bag for heavy-duty cleanup. Perfect. Well, let's take a look at what Nathan plans on doing with this room here? Well, we're going to tear down the whole bathroom. First, we're going to take down this wall, okay? They're going to take out the flooring here and replace that. We're going to keep the tub over here, and um, we're going to repaint everything. Charlie, what do you suggest that we do as far as getting started with this project to keep the dust to a minimum? Really, it's always best to approach your mess as part of better project planning. In this instance, we're going to be approaching it from a three-step perspective. Step one is going to be contain your mess. Step two is going to be preserve what you would like to in your home. And step three is final cleanup. And as you can see, we've already cleared away most of the furniture out of this room, so we can start to mask off that doorway behind us. All right. Well, you mentioned masking off. Let's start with this one right here, and let's do it. So the best way to apply the film guard masking film is actually to stretch it to the top, roll it down to the bottom, and cut it at the bottom. And once you have the exact size, what you'll want to do is unfurl it. And because we have uh, not quite enough surface area, we're going to start taping it at the top. This particular product is treated with something called Corona, which is an electrostatic element. It's a thin masking film, um, could be used as painter's plastic. And if you are going to be getting a spray gun especially close to this material, what you will want to do is make sure that you tape it off. Mm -hmm. 
Nathan, now comes the fun part. The room looks just about ready for us to do a little demolition work. I've got a crowbar. You've right. got the sledgehammer. Let's knock it down. Let's do it. All right, not so fast, guys. For starters, what were you planning on doing with some of the larger pieces of wall? Now, you could certainly let them fall into the film guard sheet and gather it up in the end and throw it away, but that would be really heavy. Instead, use the Ruffies Pro 42-gallon contractor bags. What we can do with these is bag as we go, and that's my best recommendation. After you. All right. All right, with most of the heavier objects already gone in the contractor bag, we're just going to take the rest of this and put it in a regular Ruffies 30-gallon frosting trash bag, which you could actually use for numerous projects around your home or outdoor work. All right, Nathan, you ready to do this? I'm ready to do it. Let's right, do it. Let's see if we can get our fingers in behind there. Just ease it on back. There we go. Well, the demolition part of the job is just about finished. We still got a lot of work ahead of us. But I have a question for you, Charlie. Where can our viewers go to buy the supplies that you were showing us today? You can go to Lowe's for the Ruffies Pro Contractor bags, as well as the Film Guard masking film, Walmart for the line of Ruffies trash bags, and Home Depot for the line of Film Guard drop cloths and sheeting. Charlie, I want to thank you again for joining us today. You have a lot of great information for our viewers. And Nathan, thank you so yeah. much for letting us come into your home and letting me beat down a wall with you. <laughs> Good luck with the project. I appreciate the help, guys. If you'd like to see this part of the show, visit us online at designingspaces.tv, where you will also find other interesting links. Now, for you do-it-yourselfers, the cleanup process is very important. So make sure you start every job properly planned and prepared. For Designing Spaces, I'm Bobby Dodge. Okay, what was it you said we're going to have to change things up today? I think we did that. Mission accomplished. I mean, we got a pool in the backyard practically overnight. That's what I call changing things up. Okay, well, we're going to have to stop it. Well, for now. But there's so much more we could do. What's going to have to wait till another show? All right, but more great topics for your home and lifestyle are already being lined up as we speak. You won't want to miss it. But for now, we are out of time. This is Designing Spaces, and I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.